First step yeah, that you need to do uh, to verify what program version your button bar is to see if it needs to be upgraded is to turn the unit on, press and hold the Prince Castle logo button and the down button and in the display you see version and then a number and then the button bar address which is bar 2. Once you have verified the program version for the uh, timer bar and the bin address, please make note of that by uh, writing it down on a piece of paper because you're going to need that uh, for future steps uh, in the process of reprogramming your button bar. Yes, once you have documented the program version and the uh, button bar address, please refer to page 8 of the instruction manual that is included uh, with the kit and you need to verify uh, what model number of a holding bin that you have by going to the back of the unit and checking out the serial number plate on the unit. Above the plug you will see a, uh, a label here that has the model number. In this case it's a DHB BK5C. Below that is the serial number FD64435. Once you have verified that your button bar needs to be uh, up updated with the, uh, the latest and greatest software. The first thing that you need to do is turn off the unit. And the next thing to do is remove these two screws that are currently holding the uh, timer bar to the holding cabinet by using a Phillips screwdriver. After you have finished removing uh, both screws that hold, currently hold on the uh, timer bar, Pull out maybe about a half an inch to an inch and rest the button bar on the, uh, the rack system that is currently in place. Make sure you do not lose the screws. Once the button bar has been removed and is resting on the uh, current rack system, you want to take a paper towel and remove any excess grease uh, on the front and the back of the unit to uh, make it easier to remove the rubber grommets where you would have to access the programming port. You want to take a small flathead screwdriver and slowly but surely lift up the grommet to access the programming port. Once you have removed the rubber grommet to access the program port, you would then again need to reference the instruction manual kit that came with the kit on page 8 and 9 there is a list of model numbers and program settings that you would need to refer to. Uh, please re look up your model number on the instruction manual and all the way to the right of the page you will have numbers 1 through 8. Once you have determined the model number and the program setting, please turn the dial to the proper setting. Once you have selected the proper setting on the programmer, then you will need to plug in the program cable to the back of the button bar where you remove the grommet. Once that has been completed and is firmly in place, then you need to turn the unit back on. Once the cables have been installed in the back of the button bar and the unit has been turned on, you will then need to press and release the red program button. As you will see, the lights above that will turn solid green for approximately a minute. This is letting you know that the program has been uploaded to the timer bar. When the upload of the program to the uh, current button bar system is completed, the, LE, the green LED will blink four times consecutively, letting you know that the program has been uploaded properly. Once the program has been uploaded properly, you will then need to unplug the connector and then reinstall the rubber grommet to the back of the button bar to protect the PC board inside the unit. Once the rubber grommet has been uh, installed back into the uh, timer bar, you will then need to turn the unit off. Once the unit is off, then you want to go ahead and reinstall the button bar. Okay, once the button bar has been installed, you will then need to press and hold the red up arrow and the blue down arrow. While holding those buttons down, you will then need to turn the unit back on. 
The final step in this process would to, for you to verify that the program version matches what's in the instruction manual and that the timer bar address matches what you currently wrote down on the first step. If not, then you need to refer to the operations manual that originally came with the unit to change the address back to the original setting. Again, to verify that is press the logo button and the down arrow. You'll see the program version there, which is 4.59 and button bar 2.